In this Easy Ed video lecture, we are going to learn storage classes wherein we will learn the four types of storage classes, namely automatic, external, static and register. Let's start with introduction to storage classes. Variables in C are declared by the type of data they can hold. The name of the variable is associated with the memory location which stores the value of the variable. During the execution of the program, these variables can be stored in the internal memory or in a CPU's register. To indicate the variable can be stored, how long they would exist, what would be their region of existence, and what would be their default values. C has the concept of storage classes. The storage classes are qualifiers which are used along the data type, specified in the declaration statement. The general form of variable declaration along with storage class specification is this. Seriously, pay attention. This is important. There are four storage classes in C. Automatic, external, static, register. Each of the above class of variables has scope, longevity and visibility. Scope of the variable indicates over what region of the program the variable is actually available for use. Longevity refers to the period during which the variable retains a given value. Visibility is the accessibility of the variables from the memory. Each of variables is broadly categorized depending on the place of their declaration as internal or external variables. Internal variables are declared within a particular function, while external variables are declared outside the function. Let's learn automatic variables now. All the variables declared within the body of a function are automatic variables. They are created when the function is called and destroyed when they are exited and hence they are given the name automatic. They are declared with the keyword auto. They are private or local to the function where they are declared. Thus automatic variables are also referred to as local or internal variables. Have a look at the examples. A variable declared inside a function without storage class specification is by default an automatic variable. Here storage class of the variable A is automatic by default. An important feature of automatic variable is that their values do not change by the reference to them in another function. As the scope of the variable is limited only to the block thus the same variable name can be used in another function. Their region of use scope is limited to block in which they are declared and also they retain their values, longevity, till the last line of the block. They are stored in the primary memory and behave as local variables and if they are not initialized during declaration, then they are assigned any garbage value. Let's analyze a program to demonstrate the use of automatic storage class. Within the main function, the first line declares i as integer variable of type auto and assigns it 10. So it is allotted a memory location in the main memory. Again in this line declares i as an integer variable of type auto and assigns it 20. So it is allotted a memory location in the main memory. As i is declared in this block, its block is limited to the block only. So its value is 20 here. As first i is declared in main, its scope is for the entire function and so its value is 10. Moving on to external storage class variables. A program in C, particularly when it is large, is broken down into smaller programs. After compiling, each of these program files are joined together to form a large program. These small program modules that are combined together may need some variables that are used by all of them. In C, such a provision is made by specifying these variables, accessible to all the small program modules, as an external storage class variable. They are global and are accessible to the small programs that are formed as a separate module. Hence, the variable number is accessible in all the three functions as it is declared as external variable. While in the below example when function 2 references count, it is a local variable which is referred and not the global variable. The scope of the count variable in function 2 is within their function 2 block only. The keyword used for declaring a global variable is extern. Thus their scope and life is throughout the entire program. They are declared like any other variable in one of the program modules while preceded by the extern keyword. These variables remain in existence as long as the program is in execution and they are alive throughout. They are stored in primary memory and default value is zero. 
Now let's analyze a program to demonstrate the use of external storage class. We have declared i as an external integer variable and assigned it a value 10. Within the main function again, variable i is declared as 20. The scope of this variable is only till the main function as it is a local variable. Thus its value is printed as 20. Now when the function shown is called as i referred here is the global variance i and so it is printed as 10. Seriously, pay attention. This is important. Now let us learn static variables. The value of a static variable persists until the end of the program. A variable can be declared static using the keyword static. Kinds of variables that are allowed to be of type static are local and global variables. A static local variable is allotted a permanent storage location in the primary memory. This variable is usable within functions and blocks where it is declared and preserves its previous values held by it between the function calls or block re-entries. Whenever a function is invoked, the static local variable retains the value in it. For example, in the program displayed, the variable x is declared as a local static variable. In the main function, the function show is called three times. Each time the function show is called, its value is retained between function calls. Hence the output will be as follows. External static variables in a program file are declared like global variables with the static keyword. These static variables are accessible by all functions in the program file where these variables exist and are declared. Write a program to demonstrate the use of static storage class. Your function increment is called three times within a loop. When the function is called every time, auto variable is assigned value 1 as its storage class is automatic. But static variable is assigned 1 when the function is called for the first time. For the second call again, auto variable remains same and static variable is incremented as its value remains static. Similarly for the third time. Lastly, we learn register storage class. We know that the variables stored in the registers of the CPU are accessed in much lesser time than those stored in the primary memory. To allow fastest access to a variable, register storage class is used. The keyword used is register. The variable declared as register type gets stored in a CPU register. The default value is garbage. Though the ANSI C standard does not restrict its application to any particular data type, most compilers allow only int and char variables to be placed in the register. C automatically converts the register variables to a non-register variable once all the registers are utilized. Write a program to demonstrate the use of register storage classes. Your variable i is declared as register and assigned the value 10. While again in the block, i is declared and assigned 20. When we print its value is displayed as 20. While when we print i outside the block, it is printed as 10. Let's have a quick review of what we have learned. We started with introduction to storage classes. To indicate where the variable can be stored, how long they would exist, what would be their region of existence, and what would be their default values, C has the concept of storage classes. There are four storage classes, namely automatic, automatic, external, static, register. All the variables declared within the body of any function are automatic variables. They are declared inside a function or a block and visible only in that function or block. And their lifetime is also until end of file. In C, there is a provision made for accessing a variable from various the small programs, modules, by declaring it as an external storage class variable. It is declared before all functions in a file cannot be initialized. Externed and in the file were originally declared as global and its visibility is entire files plus other files where variable is declared while it has a global lifetime. The value of static variable persists until the end of the program. Static variables are divided into internal and external static variables. It is declared inside a function while it stays visible only in that particular function and its lifetime is global.
register storage class is used to allow fast access to variables. They are declared inside a function or a block while they are visible only in that function or block and their lifetime is until the end of function or block.